the first debate between Trump and Biden in the can. And would somebody please flush it because it stinks? Oh, let me first say I was wrong. I admit it. I never thought this debate would happen. And after this one, I pray to God the other two will not happen. But for this one, it happened and I was wrong. Now, let me tell you how I prepared for this debate. You know, I'm a presidential historian, so I can talk about any of the presidents, the elections, the key issues of each period that citizens were focused on. And knowing all that information, I've kind of developed certain things I look for in the perfect presidential candidate. And so I prepared myself to take notes concerning three words, three eyes, we'll call them. And so anytime either candidate hit upon one of those three things, I'd make a note of it. And this would be to their credit. And so I'd score this and let you know who wins. So here's the three eyes that I think is so important for a presidential candidate. Number one is they must be inspirational. That's at the heart of leadership. I mean, they need to inspire me to be a better individual, and that's going to make my neighbors better in all of society. They need to inspire me to love the country more, you know? Second I is the word ideas specifically new ideas. You don't want to hear something fresh and something genius even. This is the University of Billy where we, you know, we pride ourselves in genius. I would have instructed either candidate to prepare something that has not been in the news no one has ever heard of. That would have been a brand new idea that everybody would have been for. You know, something like we're going to provide a puppy to all kids with cancer. <laughs> you know, something like that. And then the third eye is the word, and by the way, this came from James Madison. He was our fourth president, and he wrote in the Federalist Papers. I think it was number 51. This is a key point that every candidate should have, and that point is intelligence. They need to, you know, show a clear understanding of the issues and maybe be able to complete a sentence now and then. So how do we score this? Inspirational? There was none. Ideas, not a one. Intelligence, I, I can only use a politically incorrect word to describe these two candidates, okay? It's that they're both retards. I mean, this thing was awful. It was like third graders fighting over the swing in the playground. It was like two teams, high school football teams that went 0 and 10, didn't win a game. They played each other to a tie. And you're asking me who won. It was pathetic. I had to give the victory to Joe Biden simply because he showed up and remained erect throughout the duration. I just pray we don't have to go through this again.